Welcome to Grubbin! <coughs> I got the Rona. Please don't have the Rona. <coughs> Welcome to Grubbin with Cole Moo! Today, we are here to try the legendary and the fearsome Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew. Infamous, I would say. Infamous! Yes. <laughs> Villainous, maybe. <laughs> like, why? It, 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 nobody, nobody wanted it. You know, I know... That phrase gets thrown around a lot, yeah. But it's like nobody wanted that. Certainly, nobody asked for it. No, I know that much at least. No, <laughs> nobody asked for it. Nobody wanted it. Uh, this is just a product that muscled its way into the meme sphere. Yes, and I, now here we are. I mean, that's what they're obviously what they're targeting, right? Mm -hmm. They're like they want somebody, some influencer, to show this on TikTok. Yeah, and then it goes viral. Blah blah blah. We're here. We're 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 just supporting them. Yeah. Whatever. But we we're have to here. try it. We have to. It's it's flaming hot Mountain Dew. We're here. Thirty years past our soda drinking prime <laughs> to try this because like you're it. It's not for the soda drinking community. No. Right? It is for you and me. Yes, exactly. To sit here and go, oh, how fucked up is this? You know. Yeah. I, I, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Over it, but we're Colt Moon. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know what we have to do? Yeah. What? Ah! Vodkater! 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 Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mountain Dew. Or wait, well, it doesn't actually say yeah, it's not Cheetos. Cheetos. It's just Flamin' Hot. Okay. I was going to bring up the piss in my cereal analogy where it's like, <laughs> if there is enough to detect, your experience is not just ruined, but it's traumatizing. If there was any Cheeto detectable in this, I, I, I would have flipped out, you yeah. know? Yeah. Let's get in here. Mm -hmm. Try it out by itself. I have heard somebody say something like, it's flaming hot. Or excuse me, not, what, what am I talking about? It, it's it's code red. It's code red Mountain Dew uh, with a little bit of spice. Uh -huh. And I don't think that sounds disgusting. <laughs> what? <coughs> Aww. All right. When you just smell it off the bottle, and it has <laughs> oh, an area. Shit. In it, wow. It smells very just fruity and sweet. Uh, uh, when you pour it out, then it like. It aerosols all the flame and hot right yeah. in your lungs. It's like you can smell the capsaicin. <laughs> but otherwise, it kind of smells a little bit like Sprite. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Not, not even just Sprite, but like specifically tropical Sprite? Yes, tropical Sprite. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Why does it smell hotter than it tastes? <laughs> I don't even detect any spice in <laughs> the taste, but the smell is like... The smell said it was gonna kick my ass. Uh -huh. It's got nothing to back that up, though. It's it's got oh. Do you taste something? Else? Second gulp, bigger gulp. It does something to the mouth feel. It has a weird texture to it, and it doesn't remind me of uh, Mountain Dew Code Red. It actually just mm -hmm. tastes like regular Mountain Dew. Yeah, it just tastes like regular Mountain Dew with like. Real bad, like, extract heat added to it. There's some kind of aftertaste. Maybe it is, like, a capsaicin oil. I think it has to be, right? how else would you get, like, that kind of heat without the flavor? Yeah. Like, the, the kind of picante sort of flavor that would mess up a clear beverage otherwise. Yeah, you know? exactly. If, if somebody gave me this and I ended up coming away with a little heat, I'd be like, hmm, did you rinse that glass, you know? Yeah. It was a Bloody Mary in that thing right before I got to it, you know? It's like, I'd, I'd be a little <laughs> sus, but I wouldn't really be like, ah, oh, this is a this is a step forward in a new product. I think, I think you're exactly right. It's It tastes like you poured Mountain Dew into a dirty dish and drank it. And there was something that, like, I don't know, like... Cayenne pepper. Like cayenne pepper, yeah, for some reason. Like some really neutral heat. It tastes like somebody like ashed a cigarette out in your mouth, dude. <laughs> is what it tastes like. 
I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but there's definitely something like like unwelcome. <laughs> In addition to whatever it is they're advertising, um, it's it's wholly unpleasant. Yeah, they got a a lime there on the side too. Yeah. I know Baja Blast is like the the lime one. Where's the fucking lime? There's no like. Uh, yeah, it's just normal Mountain. It's it's worse Mountain Dew. I'll give you a shot. You can decide how much of it you want to mix in, or maybe just take a shot after you drink it to kill the pain. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I bet if you did want to make a spicy Mountain Dew, you could probably do it at home better. Yeah, somehow. Like maybe soak it in, I don't know, jalapenos or something. You could do something, right? Like, habaneros. Cut up a bunch of habaneros, throw that in there. It's uh, Habaneros are kind of already fruity. Yeah. And, and a little bit sweet. Uh, they, they would probably pack a lot more punch. Yeah. Which I think is what you're intending. And and it would also elevate the flavor a little bit to some other direction than just like whatever this shit is. Why not go all the way? You know, like why not actually make it spicy? Yeah. I don't get it. Like flaming hot Cheetos are actually spicy. They're pretty spicy when you eat them. It's gotta be inoffensive enough for somebody who actually buys it. Some normie who's not getting it for their YouTube show, you know? I Imagine. So. What a loser. Sure. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers. I gotta say, the vodka kind of makes it better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the vodka kind of kills the uh, off flavor for me. And now I just taste vodka. I don't hate it, but I don't like it as much as regular Mountain Dew. I yeah. Think, uh, it's like they made an off batch of Mountain Dew. And they're yeah. like, well, we can't sell this. We gotta pour it all out. And they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I got an idea. Is this from the same company who makes, like, cinnamon red hots or something? <laughs> Like, they fucked up the, the cycle on the tumbler, so that they had to, like, you know, sanitize the inside, but they forgot. Yeah. It, it just feels like that. Like an industrial mistake. I was expecting this to be, like, anything at all, really. Like, I, I expected something out of this, and it's given me nooch. It's just, oh, it's kind of spicy a little bit, kind of tastes a little bit like an ashtray, and normal Mountain Dew. It's like the worst case scenario, in my opinion. Where it's like, somehow you made Mount, like flaming Hot Mountain Dew kind of boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luffy, on this day, mm -hmm. I'm making a promise to our viewers that we will come up with our own flaming Hot Mountain Dew in the future. And it's going to be better than this. Yeah, I, I can, like, I don't even have to think a lot before I can already, like, imagine how this whole process would be better. But that's all we got for this one. Flaming Hot Mountain Dew, it's a fucking gimmick and it sucks. Yeah. Underwhelming. Uh, and that's the worst thing, you know? Absolutely. Because it's not like we have some, you know, amazing reaction and it's not like you're really going to enjoy the product. It's just a middling piece of trash. Mm -hmm. Like everything these days. God damn it. <laughs> Burn it all down. Burn it all to the ground. This is Big Rebel with Cold Moon. Please like, share, subscribe. Go check out all of our social dates. Check us out on the Twitch. And um, go check out the Patreon. Yeah, while you're at it. Yeah. Go see where all the deleted stuff is, mm -hmm. which is practically everything now. Yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Unless we get deleted. <laughs>